to configure a synchronous reluctance motor with Altivar series. Hello, let's have a look today at how to commission a simple synchronous reluctance motor. From the stator point of view, this type of motor is similar to synchronous, but the rotor characteristics are completely different. The rotor is made of several metal leaves shaped like this, and its principle is using the reluctance properties to make the rotor turn. The path of reluctance is equivalent to resistance in electricity. The field will go over the minimum reluctance, and then the rotor will align according to the stator field. To summarize this kind of commissioning, we could say that for basic applications, the startup can be broken down into three steps. Enter motor characteristics, make an auto-tune, and finally, improve the system behavior if necessary according to the application. The latter step will not be described in this video. First of all, the settings list is available in the programming manual in Motor Parameters MPA. Commissioning is performed thanks to six parameters. First, choosing CTT for motor control assignment to synchronous reluctant motor. Then, five simple settings, such as NCRS for nominal current, here 2.1 ampere, NSPS for motor speed, here 1500, TQS for nominal torque, here 4.8 Newton meter, PPNS for number of poles, here two pair of poles, and finally AST for automatic angle setting time, here rotational current injection. You can see on the screen that when a setting is modified, a tool icon appears in front of all modified parameters. Then finally, Tune optimizes motor performance at low speed, which also helps for estimation of motor torque, and allows better accuracy of estimated values in sensorless operations. In order to have the highest performance level, we propose performing a tune while the motor is rotating. This option is available by setting TUNT parameter to rotation. Let's start the tune in rotation. It is possible to start auto-tuning via the menu or the Apply button. A small noise and a slight rotation of the motor will occur before the motor starts rotating for a longer period of time to measure all necessary motor parameters. This rotation is done at approximately half the nominal speed. At the end of the tune, it is necessary to refresh to read the final data, result of auto-tune. In addition to these basic parameters, there are around a dozen additional ones available, such as NCRS, NSPS, TQS, PPNS, AST, RSAS, LDS, LQS, MCR, CRTF, and CRFA. This video will not go into details on each and every one of them, but keep in mind that these can be used to fine tune the settings. Need help with SoMove? Press F1 on any given item to open the contextual help or the product programming manual. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit our website.